Scientology could philosophically be called solipsism. Mm -hmm. Solipsism, as you're reading on camera right now, it's from the Latin solus meaning alone and ipsa meaning self. Yourself alone. You so are... there's only you. Well, what's interesting in recent uh, promos for the Golden Age of Tech Phase 2 or Superpower, people are saying things like, I'm more myself than I've been in trillions of years. And what an interesting statement. Yourself alone. Because before it was like me and Scientology was separated and now I feel like I have it in me, you know, it's like going through my veins. And I can learn anything. I mean, you can send me to NASA now, I'll put a satellite in space, that's how I feel. There's no mountain you can put there that I won't be able to get over or under or an ocean that I won't be able to cross because I've got study tech. And then I'll come. They're like spidey senses. They're like, what? When you turn around and go, oh, something's falling off the counter and you just grab it. It was so cool because... I backed out of my head and I was like, oh my god, it's all just mess. And here I am. I'm not part of that. And like my ability to decide to generate energy or not at my cause, at my choice, just went through the roof. All of a sudden, I was just pouring energy into my body from above. And then something in my space exploded. And I just realized that I had no bridges. They were just not there. They were literally gone. It's like a canopy coming off of my entire universe, you know? Wow. I occupy a lot of space. You are the king of your universe. And it's not just a phrase. I went through the frontiers of the mess universe, and then I started feeling the data universe. Uh, Solipsism is the idea that the only thing you can be sure of is your own mind. The only thing you can be certain that actually exists is your own mind. You can't be certain of objects out there or anything else. Some solipsists take it to the point where they believe that the universe, they're the central subject of the entire universe, and they don't even know if what's out here is real. And this is a philosophical position. It's also, uh, you know, speaks to alienation. It can speak to narcissism. You know, when the Scientologist says, what's true for me is true for me, what is he or she saying? Mm -hmm. They are saying, I'm the only one in the universe who can decide what is real or true. And this is a very tricky place to be in, the arbiter of reality. But to, to the point you made earlier, the church will crush your certainty. And <laughs> so... That goes out the window, what's true for you is true for you. Mm -hmm. To get you in the door, sure. Mm -hmm. Certainty is you become certain of what the church tells you to become certain of. And any idea of a higher power, what you realize is you're mocking it up as a Thetan. That's one of the things that Scientology teaches. So it becomes you want to attain godhood on the OT levels. Therefore, the Church of Scientology offers a self-financed personal God project. A pay-as-you-go way to become God. Unlike the older mystery schools where you, you worked up the true, you know, through the initiation, the ranks, schools like Freemasonry, uh, in Scientology it's a pay-as-you-go self-financed God system. So if you run out of money on your way to Godhood, guess what? You don't get any more time on the E-meter. Too bad. The end result of all of auditing is to realize that you are creating it all. You are the creator. So when we loosely talk about God, because Scientologists doesn't believe in God or deity. They give all these kind of um, bait and switch. If you, if you walk in and say, well, is there a God? They don't want to blow you off and have you run out the door if you're a devout a devout. Christian or something, they go, well, you're asking an upper level question and, uh, you know, you'll find out. You have to do the OT levels to find out about God. That You're asking an eighth dynamic question. Ooh, an eighth it's dynamic. Eighth dynamic. And so the bait, uh, and, and my point is, if you're a religion with no God, why not come out and say so? No. Be honest. Say, look. We, we, we believe in other things, but there's no God here. And in the end result of Scientology after one million dollars, you get to believe that you are the creator of it all. It's just your reality. 
it's actually to discover that you yourself were God all along. And everything is being co-created with other people, right? You're not the only God. Everybody is God. And, and you may have heard it loosely said, God is in all of us and all of that. But in Scientology, you really are the creator. So is... And they, the Scientology believes that you are this dopey, dummy, unlike, unenlightened person that is no source. Meaning, you don't even realize that you're the source of everything. You're God. So you're no source. So Scientology, by paying them these hundreds of thousands of dollars, gets you to turn from being no source to total source. Which is, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, most people should be in the center. There's no such thing as humility in Scientology. Oh, no. There's no, no Catholic humility. There's nothing about being humble, right? OT is supposed to be this glorious, super wise, godlike state. But in actual fact, OT8s come back and drop dead in their 50s of cancer. And OT8s go bankrupt like anybody else. And OT8s get divorced like anybody else. And there is nothing that you could look at an OT8 and say, wow, I want that. I'll pay a million dollars to be like that. Nothing. L. Ron Hubbard said that OT, the end phenomena, was cause over the messed universe. The church sort of detuned this to say cause over life. What did Hubbard mean when he said that you could become cause over the messed universe? Yeah, they don't say cause over matter, energy, space, and time. They've, they've knocked that out. It was just a little too, <laughs> like, so much of their hype. They say cause over life. What is cause over life? I mean, that. Uh, all right. Cause over life means life isn't going to hit you in the teeth and make you go effect. You pull the reins of life. You are core. You're in the driver's seat. You're in the saddle. And you are cores over life. Nobody dramatizes this more than the Church of Scientology. What do you mean? They're going to be cores over you. Cores over life is what Scientology, that's Scientology's identity. It says we're going to make you cores over life. But actually, Scientology's entire identity is cores over you. You don't become more me. All these ads and the promo and give us money and we'll make, you will become more yourself. No, you don't become more yourself. You become a more disciplined robot that toes the line and obeys the hierarchy of the Church of Scientology.